Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, returning to War on the Sea, the historical single battles. Today we're playing the Battle of Coral Sea, playing as the Japanese. It looks like they've got the battle focusing on the last two days. Uh, historically, it was May 4th through the 8th. Um, it was the first real carrier engagement in the history of uh, naval warfare. Came about in response to the Japanese Operation Mo, which was an invasion of Tulagi and Port Moresby. They managed to get troops on Tulagi, but uh, we stopped them at Port Moresby. Um, the outcome of the battle was, I would say, probably a Japanese tactical victory, uh, being they sunk the USS Lexington and damaged the Yorktown while losing just a uh, escort carrier. But it was a U.S. strategic victory in the sense that the Shokaku was damaged to the point where she couldn't participate in the upcoming Battle of Midway. Zuikako was um, depleted of her air wing to an extent that she couldn't either. And in my opinion, without those two aircraft carriers there, uh, that's the reason why the U.S. won. Um, granted, Lexington was sunk, but the Yorktown, which was damaged, they got her patched up quick enough so she could participate. And I think uh, Midway was the turning point in the war where things started to slide downhill for the Japanese. So, we are going to jump into Day 1 of Coral Sea. And we've got ourselves a whole lot of ales. Okay, we've got 16, four groups of four. All right. Objectives. After an unsuccessful search for U.S. carriers, Val dive bombers from the sh carrier Shokaku return to attack the fleet oiler and its escorts, which had been sighted earlier that evening. Okay, let's start. And there they are. Okay, we're going to get ourselves in a decent position to attack. Let me see who exactly we're attacking. Might split these groups up a little more than uh, what they are. Now we got two ships. That's it. Okay, so we're not going to be splitting these groups up. Two groups of four on each. We don't want you in line ahead, we'll put you in Vic. Do the same for everybody. up a little differently, but I think we're going to see how they do in groups of four. Okay, we got our first group coming in now. Looks like we should hit them at the same time. They haven't started maneuvering yet, so that's a good thing. Excuse me. They haven't 
bullets aren't firing yet either. Wonder if the uh, dive bomber losses carry over to the second day. Might want to uh, try and conserve a little bit. Now, I was kind of wondering how they were going to do the um, predominantly air battles. I didn't know if uh, they were going to have ships in the area as well or just the aircraft. Alright, we got first group moving in from that side. Other groups moving in from the other side. Okay, here comes the first group. And their bombs are away. Three direct hits. So a total of five hits on this destroyer here. Okay, no. Next group. Move in an attack. as well. So far we haven't lost anybody. Alright, here comes the first group on the Oilers. Number one is sinking. Alright, so she took some it's like four hits. Yeah, she's going down quick. All right, the oiler's maneuvering not to run into her. The wreck. It's going to make it a little hard with the uh, angle of attack. Now coming at a almost stern on shot, stern quarter, might not be too bad. I like the uh, Vic formation, we did lose one veil. Here comes the uh, final wave, she's turning, looks like we're probably going to hit her right on the stern. Starting their dive run now. See how many hits we get. See if the maneuver saved her. No. At least one more hit. And she's sinking. So for the price of one veil, we took out a destroyer and an oiler. And that is day one of Coral Sea. See the report. Okay. So we can leave. And jump right into uh right into day two. Aircraft from the carriers Yorktown and Lexington spot the Japanese carrier force, which is us. So I'm kind of hoping that we have uh, some type of cap up in the air already. All right, so we got the Shokaku, Us we have Ushio, Yugiro. Uh, looks like we've got six. Six fails, wow. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm actually going to uh, split these guys up in the groups of two.
and we're going to keep them relatively close to the carrier. We, at least until we see what's out there. Alright, they're a little off. I am going to break them so we'll, whoops, they can uh, maneuver easier individually. and start the battle. One carrier and two destroyers. Seems kind of... Alright, zero reports contact aircraft bearing. 160, 159, 161. Oh wow, they're right on top of us. Imagine that. for a second. I just have everyone attack. And they got the uh, dog fight at will. feature uh, enabled. I would expect there to be more of a presence. Okay, we're going to turn then Shokaku, we're going to turn you starboard. Focus on our uh, zeros here. It's like they're t doing a number on the enemy. Uh oh. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Great. Okay. Head out. We're going to make your turn support. So, Kaku, I might want to move a little bit faster than that. Headed for the destroyers. Yes, they are. Wow. I'd say that's a dead destroyer right there. Magazine explosion. She's done. Uh-oh. It's not a surprise. How many times did she get hit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six direct hits by a bomb with a magazine explosion. Let's see how our air wing is doing here. Haven't lost, well, we lost one zero. But we're doing a number on the uh, enemy aircraft. Now we've got more aircraft inbound. These are torpedo bombers, which they've already got torpedoes in the water heading for the Shokaku. Uh, I don't think she's going to get around these. She's going to hit at least two, three probably. See if we managed to dodge that last one. Yep, looks like we did. 
That was a lucky dodge right there. Alright, Shokaku's in trouble. There's still torpedo bombers coming in, so we're going to turn Shikaku right in to the attack. There's all our zeros. You guys are still chasing that one guy. That's not cool. Alright, did any of them get their... That was close. There are torpedoes in the water. Let's see if we can dodge them. I think we managed to dodge this one. Yep. Alright. Make sure you don't swing your stern into the track of the torpedo. Okay. I'm gonna have you navigate over here and kinda have everyone head out in Okay, so what I'm going to do here with the remainder of the aircraft is I'm going to form them up. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to have them stay over the two ships we got left. How's this? Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Slow down with the fires under control. And slow down too. So, so far, Shokaku has managed to. Um, take some damage, but nothing that, um, nothing that would put her out of the battle in midway. That'd be great if that carried over. We'd have a fighting chance with all the aircraft from the, uh, Shokaku that weren't actually there. Just taking on water to the bow, though, I don't know. That's not repairable, either. That's one beat up aircraft carrier. Wonder if that's it for the attack. Oh, look how much she's uh, down by the bow. Don't see any more, uh, Any more planes coming in. I only imagine what those pilots are thinking. I was like, what the hell are we gonna land on? I guess I could still pull it off. All the damage is in the bow, basically. Come in and land as normal and just wouldn't be able to launch again. So maybe she is out of midway. damages under control before we go. Just old habit from uh, playing the campaign. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Nothing that can't be repaired. Alright, I think that might be it. See what we got here. We lost 2 out of 6. They lost 12 out of 16. So, I'd say that would be um, fair trade. We did lose a submarine. Moderate damage, moderate flooding. And 
in reality, I don't know if that ship would be able to fight at Midway, unless they figured out a way to launch off the stern, but they wouldn't be able to because they need the uh, headwind to get up into the air. So I say that that's a fairly accurate outcome. We didn't get a chance to take on the, um, the American carriers with our dive bombers and uh, torpedo bombers, but it is what it is. So the Battle of Coral Sea, I'd say was a stalemate. Anyway, that's going to do it for this uh, episode. It's pretty quick and easy. Um, I've got the battle of... I picked a bad time to draw a blank here. Anyway, the first battle on the list. That's what I've got there. Not Sava. I mean, it's going to bug me till I think of it, but I'm not going to waste your time with that. So I'll link to it in the uh, end screen there. You can watch that. Um, Midway should be interesting. Seems that was just as air focused as this one was. But anyway, that's it for me for this video. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and you won't miss out on anything else that I will be doing. Have a good day.